So the setup is very, very easy. All you guys need is an app. So you guys can do this from your tablet or from your smartphone. It's gonna be the exact same instructions, by the way. We're gonna go into your app store. From your app store, look for Lorex. So before it used to be Lorex Home, right now they changed it to just Lorex, pretty simple. So just press on get and it's gonna start downloading. So that's this app right here. So again, this is the app. That's what you guys have to download and then just press on open. Now, the reason why I'm showing you this on an iPad is because it's a bigger screen. So it's better for you guys to see. So we're gonna go on and right down here, you guys are gonna see sign up. If you don't already have a sign up, I assume not, you're brand new to this. So we're gonna go on and just choose our location, going to next, from here, put in your first name, last name, email address, create a password. It's not the same password as your email, unless you want, want to use the same one. I don't recommend doing that. Then down here below, you're gonna see continue by green, and then all the way in the bottom, activate, get an activation code, so tap there. So once you do that, uh, fill everything out, you're gonna get a verification code on your mail, I mean. So in your email, check for that verification code, put it in, and then press OK. And then you're gonna get a lot of pop-ups saying, would you like to access your microphone, all that. Put yes for everything, really, because you need access to everything. In this case, only if you guys have an iPhone, iPad, it's gonna ask you for this face ID. You guys can allow or not. I would allow if you guys have that. And then on the top, you guys are gonna see face ID login. And I'm gonna do that just so I don't have to put in my password every time I log into it. Now we're gonna go back and right here, it's the two verification. You guys can enable this or not. I'm gonna do it, not now. And just press got it. And there you go. You guys can tap on add your first device. So we're gonna do that once we hook this up. So let's go to our camera and hook it up so we can actually do this. So since we're doing this setup uh, before it's actually mounted, we're just gonna place this like so, so nothing gets in its way if it starts moving around. So we're gonna plug it into some electricity. So once you plug it in, let me just take out the sticker so you guys can see what's going on in the camera itself. You're gonna see these lights. So that means it's got power, it's gonna move around. Remember I told you to place it like so, and that's because you guys want this to move around freely, so don't just have it laying down on the table when you're doing the setup like me. And again, I highly suggest doing this first. That's very loud. So we're gonna go on and tap to add our first device. Remember to have your Bluetooth turned on, don't have power saver mode or anything like that. Then from here, we're gonna go and go into our settings. All right, this part's a little hard for me to show you guys, but just make sure all this is turned on, especially local network, okay? Once you've done that, you're gonna notice this. Just go back to your app, you're gonna see this, all right? So you have to choose which one it is. So depending on what you're setting up, you're gonna choose whichever camera. In this case, it's a wireless camera, so Wi-Fi camera. And then we just do scan the QR code located on the device. So you're gonna take a look at the back of your camera. There's gonna be this, okay? So we're gonna have to scan that. So just hold up your camera. And if you can't hold up your camera, you can enter manually. So that option's down here below. So if you guys see down here below, it's gonna say manually enter device ID. So just copy what it says. All right, so now that you guys scanned it or put in your device ID by hand, depends what you guys did, just go into next. And you have to choose if it's a wired connection or wireless. Wireless means Wi-Fi. Wired means that you guys rent your ethernet cable and hooked it up. So that's not in this case. We're gonna do wireless and we're gonna go on into next. So it tells us exactly what we're supposed to do. And uh, let's just go into next. We're gonna allow this. Then you're gonna see something like this message, just press join. So what you guys can do is just go into your Wi-Fi connection and hook it up to this, this F4 thing. So go into your settings, go into Wi-Fi, and then you're gonna see that one here. So just hook it up. So again, up here, I hooked it up to this. That's because that's the one that's showing me. And right here, you guys should see something that's saying that you connected successfully. Now back to the app. Remember in the app it said that it failed to connect. We just went to the settings and did it ourselves. Right now you guys can put your device's password. So this means you're making up your own password, by the way. It's not a password that's already made. And it does tell you that you need, it needs to contain at least eight characters and a combination of numbers, letters, and special characters. Or special characters, I should say. So it, it could just be numbers and letters. So once you guys put that password, just going to next on the bottom and right here, go ahead and select the Wi-Fi network. So that's what this is gonna hook up to, okay? Your camera. 
So whatever network makes sense to you guys, in this case, it's gonna be tech and design. You do have to put in the password for your Wi-Fi network. That's the one that uh, it's logged into. So you're not creating a password. This is the password for your Wi-Fi. So right now we're putting our password, just press on connect. And something I forgot to say is click on save password. But we're almost done with the setup anyways. So right now it's telling us that we need a solid green. As you can see, we got the solid green on our camera. So that means we're fine. I'm going to next and it's adding our device. So this does um, audio recording as well. So we're gonna do that for sure. You guys can turn that off at any time. Uh, by the way, any of everything that we're doing right now, you guys can change it up later on as well. So we do want this alerts. Most of you want those alerts, not everybody. In my case, I'm gonna press this on my backyard. Well, I'm gonna set up in my backyard. So that's why I'm doing that. And in this case, we're just gonna press on complete because everything's fine. And there we go. Right now, what you guys can do is press on play. And again, it's gonna give us this quick thing that local network is supposed to be enabled. It's all good actually. And right here, we can actually view right now what the camera is viewing. So if I move my camera around, I can make it view my iPad. It's view my wall. That's why you guys are seeing that. Uh, let me just tap here. It's gonna give us a quick thing about everything that we can do on that. We can zoom in and all that stuff. But there you go, that's it. We're done with the setup. Right now, we guys, you guys can press on record video. You guys can go into further details about this timeline. There's a bunch of things here that you guys can do, but here are the basics and you got this all set up already. It's actually working right now. And it's giving me that alert that there's somebody there because he detected my hand. But as far as this video goes, we are all done. If you guys have any comments, questions, you guys can write there in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and like. Thank you.